Hello everyone, we are at the Naval Group Innovation Days, an event where Naval Group, the French shipbuilder, is uh, showcasing some of its latest innovations. And today they unveil this uh, large uh, unmanned underwater vehicle. To learn more about it is uh, Cyril Levy, head of Autonomous System at Naval Group. Cyril, good morning. Good morning. What is this UUV? So this is our demonstrator of the long range UUV but uh, we developed uh, two years ago. Uh, it's um, a new capability for Navy uh, to um, perform long range mission uh, for uh, intelligence surveillance. Uh, it's a system uh, as a long autonomy, a few days or maybe a few weeks when we will integrate the complete uh, uh, source of energy. It integrates many sensors, sonars, with a telescopic mat, mast, which integrates uh, a radar and uh, electro-optic uh, sensor and different kind of uh, communication system, satellite, UHF, VHF and Wi-Fi. How big is this uh, drone? So the, these demonstrators, these first demonstrators, have a length of uh, 10 meters. It could uh, up to 20 meters if we had a new uh, 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 energy uh, uh, section, exactly. Uh, it's roughly 10 tons. Uh, its speed is between 6 knots and 15 knots. Its max speed is 15 knots, but its operational speed is 6 knots. What kind of uh, missions can it conduct? So intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, uh, yes. anything else? Yes, it can perform this kind of mission underwater with its sonar. And when it's uh, uh, at the surface, it can deploy its mast and make uh, a ISR mission close to the coast, take picture, video, and different kind of, uh, of mission in order to improve situational awareness of uh, um, a mother ship. What about uh, offensive missions, anti-submarine warfare? Is that envisioned for this uh, demonstrator? At this time, this demonstrator uh, have no weapon, but it could be an opportunity to improve or upgrade its, capa its capacity, its capability, sorry. So it is possible to integrate such a weapon like torpedo but we need to work with the Navy, with the French Navy, but it will be very nice if we can work on this way in order to integrate this capability on board this uh, demonstrator. Last but not least, uh, Cyril, uh, can you uh, tell us about the, the main uh, milestones of this uh, project? Uh, when did it start? When did you launch the first demonstrator? When will it conduct sea trials? And, uh, how was it born? How did it materialize? Uh, is it following a request from the DGA or the French Navy? Or is it a, a completely naval group idea to develop this demonstrator? Yes, we started to, to work on this subject in, in 2016. It was a, a naval group initiative because we consider that it was necessary to take in consideration the future of naval forces that will integrate such autonomous system. And it was important for us to identify what will be the impact of this system on our business, on our industrial way. And this is why we take the decision to develop a first demonstrator, a self-funded investment of Naval Group. So between 2016 and 2018, we design the project and we started to uh, realize this demonstrator in uh, 2018 and uh, we put the demonstrator for the first time at sea in November 2020 so we make a first uh, first sea trials in uh, January of this year and we will follow the sea trials next week for a dur duration of two months during this duration we will make different functional tests and we will test the decision-making system and the, auto the navigation also. So all these tests we will perform uh, during the, 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 two, the, the two months, two next months. And we 
have a main objective is to perform a complete autonomous mission uh, in springtime 2022 uh, uh, with the full system and uh, our uh, uh, operational management system. Antoine, what kind of uh, AI are you developing for this uh, UUV? Uh, will it be able to make its own decision during the conduct of the mission? That's uh, indeed the aim of the autonomy, to be able to make its own decision during the mission. And the whole system relies on several kinds of uh, AI. Uh, you can see here that it's mostly machine learning for uh, environment uh, and uh, sensor uh, evaluations. But the heart of the system is mostly deterministic with rules with uh, coefficients. Today it's mostly deterministic and even if we have this, as I was saying before, the, the framework inside we need to stay inside, we could uh, think about deep learning maybe for some decision, but for the moment it's mostly deterministic and we want to stick with that uh, and to experiment first this, uh, this capacity. Why is this uh, necessary for UUVs? Uh, because of environmental factors, because of uh, maybe a change in the missions and uh, the inability to be in direct communication with the drone, it needs to take its own decisions? Exactly. It's really important for UUV. It, it's, not, it's essential <laughs> because of the lack of communication underwater. So, Lack of, there are ways to communicate underwater, but there, is, um, there are some delays. And uh, delays and um, I would say small data on, can only be uh, transmitted to, to the drone. So it needs to have its own autonomy uh, and be able to, to understand um, by underwater communication really small data or orders that could be some way transferred to to by the operators but most of the time it needs to be autonomous